This vehicle in front of me is a Charisma and it will cost just under 300,000 euros and that is without the uh, Encore Smart car which is going into it. Now, if you're spending that much money on a vehicle, which is a price of, uh, well, it depends where you, you are, but I mean, it's certainly a very nice house in most places. Very, very nice house. Let's have a look and see what you got. Right, so let's start off with the technical. It's uh, 945 centimeters long. It's 240 centimeters wide. But when you're actually inside, it does actually seem to be wider than that. Although, of course, I think there's a barrier between 235 and 240. It's only five centimeters. But I think there's a barrier when you actually come to actually driving in that. So that's something that one would want to look at. It's uh, The height is 358. So there's plenty of height. Now, um, obviously, you need height. Because of the garage you need uh, but once you're inside yourself unless you're really really tall you're not going to feel uh, uh, claustrophobic right um, seven and a half uh, ton uh, gross vehicle weight giving 1249 payload that is a huge amount obviously the car is going to take up a fair bit of that all the same it's going to leave a lot now coming in here a lounge and you've got a bed over the cab. How bad is having a bed over the cab? Well, I'm just walking down now, and at this position, my height, 175, I am now touching the bed. For me, I would say get it out, but others uh, may think differently. You've got an automatic uh, gearbox, which can be overridden uh, if, if you want now I've tested these back box they're, they're really it's it's really very very good now uh, sitting around the table here you've got a telly should you want it uh, I wouldn't but uh, that's me and you know there's something about drinking out of a glass when you come into a motor home you've got a selection of glasses like that I think oh, it's utter, utter class uh, fridge freezer uh, oven now the vehicle can be divided up, we have the first door here, so now you've got the bathroom and the toilet, now I know many people think well I don't like the toilet there, it's a bit public and certainly it may well be if you've got anybody uh, sleeping in the uh, front room shall we say uh, uh, above the uh, uh, driving position. Full size shower unit and this enormous bedroom here which can be divided over the the garage with a step up into it now here in the uh i don't i don't want to call this the wet room because it's not really but uh, the 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 cleaning area shall we say the dressing room let's call it that because that's what really it is because there you have hanging space more hanging space and more hanging space on either side of the bed. Of course, you've got another telly in here. Just for those who want to watch telly in bed, and you're not supposed to watch telly in bed. I, I watch it telly in bed. Uh, well, I've watched my things on my computer in bed, uh, and on my telephone in bed. Um, the reason not watching telly in bed is because it uh, it stops your sleep. It makes you, you really want to get to bed early. And when you're out in your van, you tend to get to bed early. But this is really very much look like a house. But of course, then again, if you've got 300,000 to spend on a vehicle, you've probably got a pretty flash house anyway. Space there for your, uh, um, I don't know, things which are in a triangular shape. Outstanding quality and um, looks. Um, kitchen, three burners. There's not a lot of um, preparation space, really. So um, I know you can't prep at the table, but uh, uh, I think that I think that is one thing which uh, they could maybe uh, rearrange a bit. But coming down here, I really like the uh, the blinds as well, uh, wooden blinds. That's a great vehicle. But it was got three hundred thousand.